Hi there, in this video we're going to take a quick look at the vintage compressor. It does exactly what it says in the name. It models some of the great vintage compressors. Now the vintage compressor has a number of important controls. First of all, we've got four ratio buttons, so we can increase it for a higher ratio. That's going to give us more of a squash sound, whereas a lower ratio will be more natural compression. As with most compressors, we can change the attack, which is basically when the compressor kicks in, and the release, which is when it finishes doing its job. Some compressors have a threshold. Well, the vintage compressor works by altering the input and output. So I've lowered the output and raised the input. And now I'm bypassing the effect just to check that my volume is the same with the compressor activated. So that way it doesn't sound better because it's louder when the compressor kicks in. Compression's primarily used to control dynamics, so to reduce the amount between loud and soft. You can use the compressor over things like drums to really tighten the sound up, and it all depends on how the compressor is actually operating. An amazing feature in this compression is this punch button. Activate it to preserve the initial attack of the actual transient itself. It's amazing on drums, even at a low attack setting. So there's plenty of different parameters or features inside the vintage compressor to really help shape your sound and not just to control the dynamics. Of course over on the right hand side and the left hand side you've got input and output meters and at the top you can see the amount of gain reduction when the compressor is in use. Another fantastic feature in the vintage compressor is the mix knob. Now this allows us to mix the dry and the wet sound so it's giving us a blend of the original signal and the affected signal once the compressor's kicked in. So you can come up with a number of different really creative sounds by blending this. Of course, if you're using it on a sand, you'd have it all the way over to wet. It also comes packed full of different presets, so if you don't know much about compression, this is a really good place to start. The vintage compressor is not just an insert plugin, it's also part of the channel strip. So you can access it inside of the channel strip and it's now got its very own user interface where you can make changes. Having it in the channel strip means you can access it almost instantly. Finally, it's worth pointing out that setting up sidechain compression is a breeze inside of Cubase and of course the vintage compressor. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Please give us the thumbs up if you've learned something and subscribe to the Cubase YouTube video for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.